ISBM, your first step towards right career. Good morning, friends. Again, start with the same <clears throat> where uh, we have last leap, and basically we have to start with the derivative of a sum. Uh, how to do der provide the derivative of sum and differences? So yesterday we have seen the formula for the derivative. How we'll do the derivation of uh, uh, in the summation? So what happened? We have to apply the multiplication, just like ddx of fx. We can see over here the when you found any two an equation which is in plus or minus form, sum or difference form. So that time we have to apply, use uh, derivation of multiplier with the addition summation. My mind is just like ddx of fx plus ddx of gx, and we have to again do the derivative just like this. This is the formula, and we use that formula here in this equation. How we'll solve this derivative? So here we have to apply like ddx of x square plus 2x minus 3. So let's start. So we have to take ddx of x square, then ddx of 2x minus ddx of 3. So x square, as we know the formula, x power ddx of x power n, which is nothing but uh, n x power n minus 1. So the same formula we will apply it over here for ddx of x square. So what happened? 2 will come over here. So x to the power 2 minus 1, which is nothing but 1. So x to the power 1 is x. So uh, ddx of x square is nothing but ddx of x square is nothing but 2x. Then, then we can use the ddx of 2x. Then ddx of 2x is nothing but 2. And the ddx of 3, which is constant, so its value is 0. So total value of DD, uh, ddx, so now the value becomes 2x plus 2, the final value. And the two, uh, minus 0, so minus 0 we have to delimitate over from here. So final value will come 2x plus 2, which is we can also write like 2, uh, we will take 2 common, so it will become x plus 1. So derivative of x square is done by the power of rule 2, which we have seen. The derivative of 2x is done by rule 3. And the power rule and the derivative of 3, which is constant. We have seen the formula in the next uh, previous examples. So more examples, just the ddx of root x. So root x is nothing but x to the power 2. So how will define the root x, which is x to the power 1 by 2? x to the power 1 by 2. When you find under root x, which is nothing but the power of that particular value one by 1 by 2. So we'll start that. ddx of root x is nothing but ddx of x to the power 1 by 2. So we can write that when you apply the formula number 2. So what you need to do. So 1 by 2 will come over here, so it becomes x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. ddx of 1 by 2, x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1, which is nothing but 1 by 2, x to the power minus 1 by 2. You can find over here 1 by 2, x to the power minus 1 by 2. So this is x to the power 1 by 2, we can solve 1 upon 2, x to the power 1 by 2. Because it is minus, when you come to denominator, it becomes 1 by 2. It is a numerator, so one uh, x power minus one by two. When this value come to denominator, it become plus one by two. Or these things we can write like two root x because x power one by two is nothing but root x. So one upon two root x. This is the way we can solve these uh, questions. Then again, find the value of one upon x square. Now we have to find the ddx of one by x square. How to solve this? So for this. We can write that if x to the power 1 upon x to the power 2, when it is going to denom uh, numerator, so it becomes x to the power 1 by 2. Sorry, x to the power minus 2. Like that, x to the power minus 2. So we have to solve the value of ddx of x to the power minus 2. So when we are going to solve ddx of x to the power minus 2, it is written like that, equal to minus 2, which is minus 2 over here. It will come over here. So x to the power minus 2, again, minus 1. So it will become minus 3. So minus 2x, x to the power minus 3. Or we can write that minus 2. This is when you're going to denominator, it becomes plus 3. So it becomes x to the power 3. So it is very simple. One of the simplest examples we have taken over here. It is very much simple. I can say that. Then we can solve, we need to solve this question. ddx of 4x cube minus 2x plus 7. So what we need to do, we need to solve this 
uh, we need to find the differentiation of this value. So how you will solve this value? 4x cube minus 2x plus 7 by x. What we need to do here? First of all, we will bi bifurcate this value in the three different parts. So what happened? X is everywhere. So we, what we will do? We will divide the x with each and every value. So 4x cube by x minus 2x by x plus 7 by x. So which is nothing but 4x square. When you're going to cut x by 3, so it become x square. It become minus 2. It become x to the power 7. X to the power minus because in the numerator is plus 1. When it's going uh, in the denominator is uh, plus 1. When the numerator is become minus 1. The same logic what we have applied in the previous over here. You can see that when it is become x to the power minus 2, but it become in the going to numerator it become minus 2. The same thing we can see over here. So x to the power plus 1, it is over here when it is going to numerator it become minus 1. So for this when we are going to differentiate uh, differentiation of this, so ddx of 4x square minus 2 minus 2 plus 7x to the power minus 1. So what we need to do, we need to apply the formula over here, what we have seen. This is the formula. The same formula we need to apply it over there. So it become like, so now we have to apply the same formula over here. So ddx of 4x square minus 2 plus 7x to the power minus 1. So like that, so we have to apply ddx of 4x square minus ddx of 2, which is nothing but 2, plus ddx of 7x to the power minus 1. Over here we can see that. So what happened when you're going to apply ddx of 4x square it, then it is 4 into 2 x to the power minus 1 sorry 2 minus 1 so when you're going to apply 2 minus 1 which is nothing but x so 8 uh, 4 into 2 x minus ddx of 2 which is 0 then ddx of 7 x to the power 7 into minus 1 will come over here x to the power minus 1 again minus 1 so it is become minus 2 so this is obsolete so uh, 4 into 2 8 x minus because this is the minus, so plus minus minus 7x to the power x to the power minus 1 and minus 1, minus 2. So final value is 8x. See, it is, in numerator is minus 2, when you're going to denominator it becomes plus. So, 1 upon.